All right, Mr. Barr, here I am. Gonna do some more probability. What's the probability that I'm gonna need a Teddy Graham after this video? 100%. Probability, compound events, find the number of outcomes. Compound, compound, what does that mean? I'm actually thinking of things like a compound miter saw or a compound like in chemistry. Compound means that we've got two or more things happening. Compound. And in probability, it's two or more events happening. Sample space. Sample space is a list of all the possible events. Sample space is a list of all possible events or outcomes. So I'm gonna create the sample space for this compound event. List the sample space for flipping a coin and rolling a die. Okay, well, let's just flip the coin first. I flip it, I come up with heads. I roll the die, I come up with one. That's one event. I could have heads in one. I could have heads with two. I could have heads with three, heads with four, heads with five, heads with six. Notice that I try to do this in a logical, orderly manner so my brain doesn't explode. I could have tails with one, tails with two, tails with three, tails with four, tails with five, tails with six. These are all the possible events. This is the sample space. You might also see it like this. I could have, what? It could go to heads or it could go to tails. And then off of this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Heads, and you see how it kind of branches off into this one. Tails, one, two, three. So two different ways to kind of visualize the sample space. I could have heads with three, but any way I look at this, I have 12 events. So let's use that logic and let's start calculating how many different things could happen there. Here we go. And you're gonna see this actually is really basic. How many possible events are right here? Well, I could have R, let's look at this. I could have R with one, two, three, four, five, six. I could have R with one, two, three, four, five, six. I could have S with one, two, three, four, five, six. I could have T with one, two, three, four, five, six. I could have U with one, two, three, four, five, six. I have 24 possible outcomes. And now ready, here's the magic. Ready? Watch this, four times six. Four possible outcomes here, six right there. When we put them into a compound event, we end up with 24 possible outcomes. You pick a card and you flip a coin. How many possible outcomes? Well, I could have one with heads. Actually, let's do it heads or tails. Let's start, with, can we do the heads or tails first? Do you care? Heads with one, two, three, four, five, six. Tails with one, two, three, four, five, six. What's that? That's 12 events. Or, look at this, ready? Six events here times two equals 12. 
That's how many possible ways there are to make this happen. Okay, this is a good one. I pick a card, I flip a coin, and I do a little spinner thing here. I'm going to do one tree so you can see how this would work. I could have a four. The four branches into a heads and a tails. The head branches into a Y and a Z, as does this guy, Y and Z. So what we actually have, just for the number four, I have four possible outcomes. For the number five, I would have another four outcomes. For the number six, I'd have another four outcomes. For the number seven, another four outcomes. And for the eight, another four outcomes. So I'm looking at four outcomes, four outcomes, four outcomes, four outcomes. What's that, a 20? Or five times two times two, which is a 20 outcome. Five possible outcomes, two outcomes, two outcomes, five times two times two. That's it. Teddy Grahams!